you've been into some screens, some pin downs. Uh, you can have one of the shooters come off a pin down, use it as a decoy, see if you can get something easy. Coach Kerr has usually got something up his sleeve in these situations. And you don't shoot early unless something's wide open because you don't want Minnesota to have another opportunity. Now take your time. Point eight second difference. Can't quite freeze it totally out. Down to 10 to shoot. Curry with McDaniel on it. Down to 7 to shoot. Steph, wing jumper, rimming out. And now Minnesota does have a chance. That was a great look. One, two, pick and roll. They'd love to go to that down the stretch with Steph and Clay, their two shooters. They got a Good luck in the pocket for Steph. He'll take that every night of the week. Now you gotta get one last stop here to force overtime. All right, Steph comes over, or Clay comes over. Two defenders get jumbled up with Clay and gets Steph a pretty good look. He's not able to knock it down. Well, like you said, you don't shoot early unless it's wide open, and Steph was wide open. And you, you'll take your chances with him on that shot all the time. But now you got to play defense for 4.5 and try to force overtime. Right. And you know D'Angelo Russell is so crafty. He can get his shot up super quick, even if you're right on him. They're going to be looking for him. If you're the Warriors, see if you can make someone else take the shot. Anthony Edwards, too, could probably make something happen. Now you're going to Denver on the back end of a back-to-back -to, -back to play the hottest team in the Western Conference and the best team in the Western Conference tomorrow night. So can you somehow play some defense and then get this to overtime? How do you get a stop? I would switch everything as they bring the ball in bounds. Make sure no one springs free off of the screen. Kyle Anderson to inbound. Angelo Russell, Nas Reed. Jaden McDaniels, Anthony Edwards. You got Clay on D'Angelo. You got Andrew Wiggins on Anthony Edwards. Anderson to inbound. Looking, looking. D'Lo at three. At two for the win. And we got overtime. Five extra minutes. Minnesota wins only one quarter, but it's the fourth. And they win it by 11 points to force the extra period. You got Clay Thompson on him. You end up getting Draymond Green to come over and get a double contest. Make that a super tough shot. Or is live to see another day. Can you win it in overtime? And the reason Draymond came over is he saw once it got down to one second, he wasn't going to pass. Yeah, D'Angelo had to just throw something up. So 